Hi everyone, and welcome back to a brand new video about AI digital models. Today we're going to learn something really cool, a trick that feels like magic. Imagine this, you have a picture and you want to change the person in it to your own AI digital model, but keep the same pose and background. This trick does exactly that. It's something I use every day for my social media and trust me, it's a huge time saver. First things first, we gotta load our checkpoint model. The key here is to use one you're comfortable with. That's how you get the best results. I'm using Level 4 XL, which is an SD XL Turbo model. Don't worry, you can find it in the description below, along with everything else we're using today. If you're using a different model, like an SD 1.5, you'll need to tweak the K sampler parameters, control net, and IP adapter models. All right, let's head over to the control net settings. Load up the image that has the pose and background we're aiming for. Now we'll connect that to a depth anything node. Make sure to change the resolution here to 832 to match the width of our image. Speaking of image size, this is super important. The reference image needs to have the exact same dimensions as the image we're going to generate. In our case, that's 832 by 1216. You'll notice that the depth image is highlighting everything, our model and the background. We don't want that because we're going to bring the background back later. To fix this, we'll use something called a grounding dyno node. Think of it like this. It tells the system to focus only on the object described in our prompt and ignore everything else. One quick tip. Make sure you're using preferred GPU in the device mode for this to work properly. Now, if you look closely, the depth image only shows our character's outline without the background, perfect. Next up, let's connect this to an Apply Control Net node. This will process our depth image using the Zoe Depth model for SDXL. Now we'll connect the Apply Control Net to our positive prompt and the K sampler. Speaking of prompts, I like to keep mine nice and simple. Since we're already using Control Net and adding the background back in later, we don't need to describe details in the prompt. Okay, let's generate our first image and see what we get. Awesome. Everything is working just like it should. The pose is spot on, and we have a blonde woman in a yellow dress, just like we wanted. Remember how we want to replace the original woman in the picture? To do that, we need to remove her and kind of erase that area. There's a really cool node called YOLO World ESAM. That's perfect for this. It's similar to the grounding Dino node we used earlier, but even more powerful. We'll add the YOLO world model and SM model nodes and make sure they're set to CUDA. Now connect your original image and tell the system what to look for. In this case, a woman. Watch what happens. It pinpoints our character in the image. Now we can export a mask from the node. We'll need to make that mask a little bigger. Next up, let's load the inPaint using model node from the Comfy UI inPaint nodes. This is where the magic really happens. And we'll use a special inPaint model called Big Llama to make it all work. If you want to learn more about what Big Llama can do, check out their GitHub page. It's super interesting. First, download the Big Llama model from Hugging Face and put it in the InPaint folder, which you'll find inside the Models folder in your ComfyU directory.
Now connect your mask and the original image. Big Llama will work its magic, removing the masked area and filling it in seamlessly. Just like that, our background is empty. But before we use it, let's refine it a bit more. We can do that by turning the Big Llama image into what's called a latent. Connect it to a set latent noise mask node and add your enlarged mask too. Finally, connect the latent output to a K sampler with a low denoise strength. Around 0.4 should do the trick. Now when we generate the image, the background will look even more polished than if we had just used Big Llama by itself. Okay, now for the fun part, merging our background with the image of our generated character. To do that, we first need to remove the background from the character image. Easy peasy, just copy the grounding dino nodes we used before and connect them to our generated image. Next up, grab a new node called Image Composite Masked. This is where we bring everything together. Connect the separated background to the destination input. Then, connect the isolated character image and the background mask, the one we just created with Grounding Dino, to their respective inputs. Now we'll add a VA encoder and connect it to our K-sampler. You can quickly copy the K-sampler by holding down Ctrl plus Shift plus V and pasting it right here. Don't forget to change the seed number and set it to fixed. Let's run the workflow and see what we get. Hmm, that's odd. It seems like nothing changed. The background isn't what we wanted at all. Let's take a closer look at the Image Composite Masked node. Ah, there's our problem. It looks like the image is actually correct, but the denoise strength is set too high. Let's lower that to around 0.4. And there you have it. We've successfully placed our new character into the target background, in the exact pose we were going for. Okay, so we've nailed the background and the pose. Now let's fine tune those facial features. If you're interested in learning more about generating realistic faces and keeping your characters looking consistent, I've got some videos on my channel that dive deep into that. In fact, I post new videos almost every week, so if you want to stay updated on all the latest techniques for creating AI digital models in fashion, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. First things first, let's load an IP adapter and a unified loader, and connect them to our model in case sampler. Then load up the plus portrait model. Now I get a lot of questions about finding IP adapter models, so let me quickly show you how easy it is. Head over to the Comfy UI IP adapter page on GitHub. It's created by the incredible Cubic. Scroll down and you'll see all the models in ClipVision listed. Just download them and put them in the right folders, making sure to keep the same file names. If this is your first time, you might need to create an IP adapter folder inside your models folder and put all the IP adapter models there. And don't forget to download the Clip Vision and put it in the Clip Vision folder. Back in Comfy UI, let's lower the weight a bit and then connect the IP adapter to both K samplers. Now load the face image of your digital model. Generate a new image, and you'll see that the system is taking the facial features from your reference image into account.
changing the clothing is super easy. Just tweak the description in your prompt. To really make the model focus on the face, add an attention mask to the IP adapter. Now our character is rocking a sharp suit. Remember, you can always play around with the seed number and generate different variations until you find the perfect look. In the end, you'll have your own workflow and it will serve as a template for your AI digital model. Each time when loading the workflow, you need to replace the target image and the prompt by changing clothing in place. And just generate and you'll see your character is now at the same place in the same pose. This will make your workflow faster, especially when you have a social media platform like Instagram.